This playthrough is rated T for Teen. Greetings and salutation viewers, Voldemar here with more Tokyo Twilight Ghost Hunters. In the last episode, we found out that a mob boss, or Yakuza boss, or actually we don't even know what type of group they are. Anyway, a guy is getting harassed by a gunslinging zombie. Yahoo! Someone from America. Yeah. We're, we're coming over to Japan and messing with your Yakuza. Woo! You know, yeehaw, whatever. Anyway, so we've gone with the otaku nerd, Moichi, to... Uh, on Ryu, so we can find out more about this gunslinging ghost and see if we can stop it before it uh, does any harm to uh, Red Tiger and his family. So, here we go. So, we're here! Now, the problem is figuring out how to get inside! Why, why the hell did you guys drag me into this? Oh, simply because Chief wants you to take us to the On Ryu! Ah! Ugh, that was so uncalled for! Seriously, what the hell did you two do while we were out on an interview? It's just a ghost. Why don't you just exercise it? If it had been just a weakling, it would have been simple. But this one requires more effort. But why did a ghost appear? The exorcisms wouldn't be complete without determining its root cause. I see. If that's how it is, let's go talk to the you already. Ah! Aha! I'm not quite mentally ready yet. What brings you? What brings you to honor you? Huh? I thought I heard a ruckus, so I came out. What are you doing here? Young man in a period high school uniform. That is kind of cool looking, though. Uh, oh, um, well, I. Hey, who's the moron who has his arrows confused? You must be a member of the honor you. Hey, why are you whispering? Hold on, hold me down, right down. Okay, maybe he's the new character to join our team. Phew. Howdy! Maybe I should make him more of a Texan accent than if he's gonna say stuff like that. All three of you look confused. What's the matter? Yeah. Okay. I'm trying to get my Texan accent, y'all, y'all. The name's Tessin Ryu Zoyan. Pleasure to make your acquaintance. Uh, sure. He seems like a cool guy. Let's uh, shake his hand. Friend touch! Shake your hand over Ah! All right, quite a handshake, right? I was about to make Australia again. Who are you? My god, I keep changing his accent. Who are you? Yeah, where are you? What brought you here? Ah, um, we're here on an investigation! Investigating? What for? For what? There's no reason for us to tell you. It's none of your business, bitch. Anyway, sorry. Woohoo! She's feisty, eh? I'm a bodyguard for the honor of you. I have a right to know. A bodyguard? So that's Yamakawa guy. So that Yamakawa guy right there. Uh, that ghost saw a period from an old man. But the sound of me is visiting the honor of you. Not only that, from what I hear, they also hired on a skilled bodyguard. The honor of you has been itching to take our territory. The old man's trouble is nothing but a good news. Ooh, what's all this about? A medium? Evil ghosts? Now that's just dumb. What's the point of doing something like that? Excuse me? So, you're saying so no medium has ever foot set foot in the mansion? I have I have seen someone like I have seen someone like that, but whew, they summoned the boss's favorite relative from a foreign country. A relative from a foreign country? Wait, is that is Wait, is the head of Audrey half foreign or something? Uh. You're working as your bodyguard, but you don't know they're lying to you? Who's done? Woo! What? I was patient with because you're a girl, but now. Huh? Do you want to say that again? You're like 16, lady. Well, then, uh, my. Mif uh, uh, so, what's really going on? Why did they need a medium? I told you all, I don't know. Then we must speak to the head of the honor you. Can't be done. That's hard about the honor you to chase away unwelcome visitors yeah. after all. There's no way I'll let you all see the boss with a reason like that. Take care of yourselves. Wait! Hey, get back here. Are you running away because you're afraid to tell us the truth? Hey! 
he's definitely hiding something from us. I agree! But there's no point in staying here if we can't get him to talk. We don't know enough about the gunman yet, but we probably should start prepping to fight it. Alright, let's go back to the office. Oh, okay, we're already doing the, the story part. Alright, uh, let's see, we haven't got any new guys on my team, so... I thought we were going to have a new guy this, this episode, so... Alright, I've uh, been doing some leveling up of screen and get some new items. A lot of these are from just from jobs, so if you're curious where a lot of this stuff... You can also buy a couple of new things, but, but doing jobs will give you a chance to get some uh, pretty pretty strong items. So I've got the saber, got the bell, got a night pole for my guitar dude. Yeah, nothing nothing too specific. You know, a couple of heal items just in case, but anyway, so... Alright, let's, uh, let's go on with the story. I can do all the leveling up and stuff like that. Uh, when we finish the, the plot, since uh, I'm usually about on par with the level of the monster, so it shouldn't be too bad. Alright. Oh, sorry. As before, I'm not going to do any traps. I don't think I need to. Live. Oh, does that mean he's not available? I guess it makes sense. So I can't choose him in this episode? Yeah. So. Wait, what's tired of okay, that's fine. Anyway, so we don't have, uh, looks like we don't have him on our team for now. I'll do it. Yeah. See if there's anything. We'll play that, see if there's anything interesting. Alright, we'll skip that, because we don't need to see that cutscene, because I've seen it multiple times. Ugh, excuse me. So it looks like it's just going to be three man group this episode. Hmm, this is their mansion? I didn't know the Yakuza business was so lucrative. Uh, what's there? What's, why is there. <laughs> Powerful male voice, huh? Huh, why is there a girl here? Is it some sort of school trip? Oh, oh, it's, it's that guy. Hey, right, I'll wait, I'll Who's this guy? Ellen Mifune? You met him before. Turns out he's our client. He's the boss of the Higurashi. Him? Really? Hey, don't tell me she's one of your exorcists. She isn't. <laughs> I'm sorry. Elsie fled! She slapped me, didn't she? I swear I'll slap your other cheek if you say that again. Oh, yeah, your nose is bleeding. Sayuri Mifune, and I'm also from Gatekeepers. It's nice to meet you. Hey, you too. This is Shiga. Can you hear me? Oh, hey there. Glad and clear, Shiga. I heard something being, uh, <laughs> I heard something banging against Tempish's headset. Is everything alright? I did. Oh, there's no problem on our end. Yeah, right, you crazy, crazy wanker. That's so. Then never mind. Oh, uh, hey, who are you talking to? Ah, a friend of ours who backs uh, us as backup during our battles. He sends all sorts of information to this device here from the van parked over there. Uh, this is high tech, eh? Ah, sure, you can say that. Uh, you... Oh, wait, sorry. You have ten minutes until the ghost appears. Please make sure you're in place. Uh, copy that. Alright, let's go. Wait, you? I'll fight with you guys. Huh? No, oh, I can have guns all the time. I can blow off the ghost with this, no problem. Well, that. Uh, yeah, I'll come with y'all too. A battle against an evil ghost. How about that make my night? Why are you? Oh, you're from the Ario. I know you there. Y'all don't need to make such a scary face. There's something, a little something I need to see for myself. Oh, uh, right. that's right. Let me meet this gunman and ghost of yours. Hmm. I'm asking you to take me with you. That's that's the way I'll find out the truth. Well, well, I just wanted to know. That's all. You gotta believe me. Oh, right. well, I'll see you at the stretch. I'll see you. Do whatever. Do whatever you must. Five minutes. There's way too many voices in this game. I'm just gonna start giving everyone generic voices after a point. One minute. Ooh. It's getting chilly. Temperature drop confirmed. Light shielding ratio. Sulfur increase has been confirmed. Be careful! It's coming! Why 
What's up with you all of a sudden? Uh, uh, five. Uh, five? Your face is pale and you're sweating like crazy. Uh, these are symptoms of post-traumatic stress disorder. Do you have PTSD? PTSD? Hey, Igarashi. Why are you all move your head? Uh, I was away. I was in Central Courtyard. Doesn't matter. Oh, crap. The ghost isn't going to show here. It's heading for your head. Well, I'll go too. You can't fight your state you're in. Just leave it to us, alright? Well, there goes the new companion not helping us now. <laughs> oh, well, it was short lived. It looks like we're ready for combat. Okay, so Tess enjoys our team. Okay. The main target is the creepy gunslinger. Ghost detected, be on alert. Alright, so we got 20 turns to find this guy and finish him off. Alright. Oh, we have also got four ghosts. In here. Okay, level 10. Everyone's. Uh, Tessin's not that high of a level, but that should be fine. Something is causing the least for us to speak to our Okay, let's see how big this map is. Don't go up, go down. Nope! Alright, so. That's like, actually a pretty solid map. Uh, not much. No, wait, no, there's, there's a couple maps. It's, uh, I could move through that stuff anyway, right? So, just, just like he. But yeah, we have to watch out for four ghosts. Whoop, there's one over there. Looks like we got attacked by someone. Man eating a drunk man eating alligator. It's drunk and man eating? The horror. Okay. So two of the ghosts have noticed us. Um, okay, so I'm hoping that there's four, but uh, I'm just to wait and see. See if that works. Alright, let's do it. Oh, nice. Cool. So we can at least get a couple of the. Uh, at least I was looking at the red dot. I wasn't looking at the other one. And we murdered the many alligators. <laughs> that was easy. Did we already find the. Uh... Oh, we did find the gun swinger. That was quick. I didn't even get to see what the possession is. Does it mean he controls me now? No, I guess not, because he still went. He still has the attack. I'll have to be careful about Tessa being uh, taken out. Okay. I've already hit like half of his HP, so. Uh, since he's a friend, I was going to worry about. Uh, Oh, it did hit him? 
Oh, for some reason I didn't think that covered that area. I must not have been paying attention. Well, at least I did some stuff. Yeah. I might have to start leveling up a bit more or working on my defense or something. Like oh, well, it looks like a couple of the other ghosts have noticed us, so we have to be careful about the uh, backlash. possibly go forward. But that, the problem is, is not knowing when, uh, if, if he's going to go forward or not, or figuring out if that's the case. Oh, that would work. Yeah, well, well. That's the worst thing he's done with that, right? Oh, is it because he's possessed so he doesn't get any actual attacks? Well, I guess that makes sense. Okay, so I can't do anything with him. Alright, well, let's see if he moves forward or not. Dang it. Shouldn't have. Now, like I said, there's really no way to tell. Oh, and two ghosts are gonna attack us, huh? Yeah, let's see what the. Uh... Ah! Man, he's an alligator! Oh, so it's just a bunch of those and uh. Chasing zombie alligator. Oh, I'm sorry, they're not all the same. Yeah, sadly, we got the guy in our sight, we just have to uh. <laughs> Mission cleared. Yeah, all it takes is one hit from my main dude, and that guy's down. I mean, that's all it takes. Uh, Hitman on skate, so one person to get hit, finish quickly, empty handed. Oh, does that mean, like, if someone doesn't have any items, they're considered empty handed? Yep. Huh. Alright. Well, anyway, that should be S. Yep, it's an S rank. Oh, nice. Need, need that little bit of a uh, level boost, as it were. Alright. Yeah, raising of strength raises, basically intelligent, I think it works like every 10 or something like that raises AP, so it's one of the, one of those, intelligence is one of those you really have to invest in to, uh, to get immediate results. Uh, but that's why my main character can just move so far, you know, he's like, got 7 AP, woo, I'm just moving all over the place. Um, that one seems to only drop boost up every, every, every turn down, every two points or so. I see there's uh, if enough intelligence raises it. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that'll work. Oops. Not that I really need the HP, but uh, also got a couple of items. We'll mess with that when it comes to it. But really, depending on how much you work on, you probably don't need items or items, at least not at this point in the game. Maybe later on it gets more difficult. But, uh, uh, but really, not too bad, really. Ugh. Give it back to me! Such a bold loser. I don't know why I was using that voice. I was trying to do a Clint Eastwood. Ugh, give it back to me! 
I was trying to do Clint Eastwood, but I can't really do Clint Eastwood that well. Hold up, y'all. Why is it heading over there? Isn't that the room the head of the Higurashi's in? Oh, Bob's! Why isn't it disappearing? It has to be barely hanging on after our attacks. We need to find the source that keeps it here and destroy it to exercise it completely! How the hell do we find that? How? Um, let's see! The ghost is moving northeast. Corner it now. Roger! So even though we beat the ghost, we don't beat the ghost until it kills the old man. It probably is gonna do it. Give it back to me! Ugh. Give it back! Maybe I should have tried it in the Texas thing with him. Oh, there it is! You can't exercise it, can you? What? Mm. I thought maybe the ones he chose could do it, but I guess it's not that easy after all. Uh, Pops, you okay? Red Tiger, you're... Whoa! Seeing Yamakawa! I suggest you don't move around! PTSD symptoms include dips, uh, dyspnea and palpitations. If you force yourself, it's possible your arms and legs might go dumb. In worst case, you'll pass out. Move. Old man. Red Tiger. Give it back. To me. There's been a perceived change state in the ghost. Watch out, it's moving to attack. Give it back. Ugh. Old, old man, run. Stay back, Red Tiger. You can't possibly fight in your condition. Oh, man! Oh. Why would I shield him? Eh, he hasn't done anything mean to me. Sure, I'll try to do that. Oh. Did I get, did I get points with the one girl? Please don't tell me I did. Red Tiger! You're, uh, oh. You're breathing! Do I have ghosts? Where did it go? There's no further response from the ghost. What just happened? Um, well, the ghost was shot and... Shot? Yes, but lead shouldn't work against them. Red Tiger, your symptoms. Yeah, well, I thought ooh, I changed the old man's life. I was holding the gun before I knew it. I didn't hear it was a ghost. And I was going out so I cared for. I was desperate. I knew I'd do something. Is that so? I always believed you'd overcome it someday. Good. You're how you should be. Bobs. Thanks to you, the ghost has vanished. The weight on my body feels like a bad dream. I appreciate it. Well, ooh, hey. No problem. I, I don't I don't know. Can we can we give a handshake? Well, I guess we can shake hands on our partnership and stop drinking on it. Is the curse gone? It seems a logical conclusion. Look at this. The Ryuza guy to discover this in the CG headroom. Remember in a photo? It's believed that ghosts are drawn to something that which they have a strong connection. That's why items are burned and a memorial service is held. It cuts the connection and lets them rest. On the flip side, by using people or things the dead have a connection with. Someone can summon their ghosts? Correct! This photo likely belongs to that gunslinger. He appeared and tried to kill CG Head because someone hid this photo in his room. Oh, I feel this room. It must have been one of them. Damn it. Those haunted by a ghost gradually lose strength and energy until they eventually die. Now that the photo drawing the ghost here has been burned, CG should be fine. That reminds me, where's Ryuzu? I saw uh, I saw him leaving earlier. He said his job here was done. Really? Hey, Red Tiger. What? Help them clean up the mess in the courtyard. No, I should be able to do it without. Shut up and just go. I, uh, when I thought you recovered, you do this and stop nagging me. Huh. Okay, 
It seems he's gone. Arigato now, you. I thank you again for exercising the ghosts haunting me. I am truly grateful. Man, where'd you, I just noticed he had a big old scar in the front in his forehead. Yeesh. I wonder how he got that. You also managed to remove the shadow that enveloped Red Tiger's mind. Red Tiger, Kijiro, and I aren't related by blood. He already knows this. What? He lost his parents while he was still small. They abandoned him simply because he was able to see ghosts. Just like that? How horrible. It's not normal. Monster. They cursed their own child and discarded him. Hey, ghost. Neener, neener, neener. She can see ghosts, guys. She's a ghost, too. I'm not a ghost. Ghost, ghost. I'm not a ghost. It was then that I found him. His parents were gone. He had no place to go. No friends. It made no sense. Why does someone have to be alone just because he's a little different from others? Why does he have to lose everything and be forced to live a solitary life? We Yakuza are anomalies of, soci anomalies of society. Oh, so they are Yakuza. I thought they were, but the, the game never actually said it. But even we have a place to go into, in the warmth of our families and comrades. It was impossible for me to ignore this small child curled up in the street, in the rain. He has the same right as everyone else to experience the warmth of others. We're all different from each other. He just happens to see ghosts, that's all. That's why I decided to take him in and raise him as my own son. But... I can't see the ghost my son does, even after all these years. I know I'll never be able to understand exactly what he feels, or what frightens him. I don't think that's true! It's alright, I've accepted that. Only those who see and feel the same things he does can understand him completely. That's why I have a request for you all. Do you think you could accept Kujiro as a friend? I'm sure you know how he feels. Will you grant the wish of an old man not much longer for this world? I ask that in all sincerity. Uh, sure. Thank you. Thank you. Vlad. Am I... Do I keep getting points with her? I really gotta stop doing that if that's the case. I'm gonna have to start being a dick, just in general. Hey, anyone out there? Our guests are leaving. Graciously show them off, please. Hey, we got it in with the Yakuza. Yay! Alright. Favors of galore. I'm just kidding. Oh, it's already dark! LG Shiga and Indy said Sadoo Sado are waiting in the car. Let's head back to the office and report to Chief. Uh, oh, sorry, wrong voice. What's with all, all the chit chat over with? Ooh, I thought you were left. I needed to talk to you about something. Thought I'd wait for you here. Tempest, right? I was watching it the whole time early, and I have to say, you're a real man. I like you. You're a great guy. Nothing would be better than finding a kindred soul. Ever then I know about the spears at your disposal. Should be exciting with you. <laughs> Should be. Hold on. All members regroup. We're heading back to the office. Ah, are you getting ready to leave? Let me help. Whoa, hold on a minute. You're not coming with us, are you? That guy, Yamakawa, he's just like me. His heart's been beating his life is lonely. Just because he can see ghosts. People think the unknown is to be feared. That will disrupt their peaceful lives. I realized something when I joined Gatekeepers. Ghosts aren't illusions. Make believe we created with our fear. Some people say they are just a force of chaos, but they follow their own form of order. That's why Gatekeepers can fight them. Ghosts aren't something to be afraid of. They aren't the unknown. Humans can face them. I understand that now. And I guess that's the end of the episode, right? Alright then. <laughs> Although, if I was perfect, I would just end my commentary there, just let the credits roll, or whatever, but, uh, oh well. Uh, another s straight up story. I don't know what else to really say. Uh, I assume. I assume that there's, there's gotta be some overarching st plot to this. It can't be just all side stories. Right, I mean, there's got to be some. Is the overarching plot just is Mifune coming to terms with her seeing ghosts? Is that it? You would think that there's got to be some tie into each story that there's some overarching plot. I really hope there is. Otherwise, otherwise this game isn't as interesting as I thought. It not that it's not terrible. It's just I'm hoping there's more with the story because it's a visual novel, right? That's I mean, it's all about how it looks, just generally, not 
and and the and the story. If the story sucks, then the whole visual novel is just not is a terrible thing to begin with. So I can't knock it yet. Obviously, we're still at the beginning of it. Uh, fourth chapter. Although we're at the fourth chapter out of thirteen. Well, usually most good stories start pick up around around halfway. Although good stories are supposed to pick up right at the beginning. But man. All right, so we got Tessa and Ryuzen to join the team. Oh, the other guy hasn't joined yet, huh? Okay, I guess maybe that'll be another chapter. So, all right, we got a we got a trophy for finishing that. We got a new team member who's good with a spear, because that's how the real world works. Everyone just carries around a different item that they're uh, that they're really good with. So, all right. So with that in mind, we solved another case, and we helped someone's family, and we earned another friend in the process. So what does the future hold in, in store for the ghost trappers? Will they find another ghost, or will they all hash it out in a, in a circle session of friendship? Thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next episode.